COVID-19 crisis has caused a drop in air travel of about 95%. And even when we start to fly again, there will need to be some big changes at Tampa International Airport. Eight on your side's Justin Shecker has a look at what we can expect. Good evening. Wearing a mask is now a requirement for TPA employees, and the airport is encouraging passengers to do the same. Many, many, if not all passengers, seemingly uh, have caught on to wearing masks. Tampa International Airport is rolling out its TPA Ready Plan, a series of steps to slow the spread of germs and viruses. From new cleaning protocols to different uh, spacing techniques and various ways of promoting social distancing and making sure that we don't create crowds at the airport. CEO Joe Lapano tells Aid on Your Side, whether these become lasting changes depends on whether treatments or a vaccine for COVID-19 can be developed over the next several months. Certainly people will be much more cognizant of their distances because we just have been trained uh, so much in, in this period. In addition to weekly calls with Florida's three other major hub airports, Labano says they're learning best practices from companies like Walmart and Universal Studios theme park. So what else will you notice the next time you fly out of TPA? Plastic shields are being installed in locations like ticket counters and security checkpoints. There'll be thousands of social distancing markers on the ground more hand sanitizer stations, and reduced seating at the gates and dining areas. Lepano says there's an added emphasis on cleaning high-touch areas like escalator handles and elevator buttons. People will want to travel, and we want to be ready with the very best up-to-date techniques to keep them safe. The airport is recommending that passengers arrive two hours before their flights take off. You're also advised to travel with carry-on luggage and mobile boarding passes to limit touch points. Reporting at TPA, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.